this is Gris. Welcome back to the planning corner. Um, today I'm going to be sharing with you what I am planning on doing with my second paycheck and what I have been doing with my first paycheck. So first of all, the cash envelopes I usually carry in this planner and this is what I take with me. But I've noticed that um, I'll only take my list out of here and then I'll also just take my cash envelopes with me. So I'll actually take these out and take them with me. And I'm, I'm, I've been leaving my planner behind. So I'm thinking about updating this and actually just using my regular wallet to carry my cash envelopes in. So I might be changing this. I've only be, been using this for a couple of weeks and I like it and it's been working, but at the same time, it hasn't been as functional as I thought it would end up being. So I thought I would make that clear because I'll be talking about my cash envelopes as well. So what I like doing when I review my budget is I like looking at what I've paid with my first paycheck and what I've done with my first paycheck and what I'm planning on doing with my second paycheck. So it's actually something that I've always done and I've always loved doing it because then I see if I'm on track uh, with my goals and if I'm on track with everything else as far as cash envelopes, sinking funds, and savings go, okay? So if you haven't seen my other video, um, I posted a video about my cash envelopes and how much money I took out of the bank from my first paycheck. So with that paycheck, I ended up taking out uh, $400 for my cash envelopes, in which $200 I budgeted for the first two weeks for groceries, $80 for miscellaneous for the first two weeks, and then $50 for fun and $70 for gas money for the whole month. So both fun money and gas money was for the whole month. So I gave myself $70 for the whole month for gas and $50 for fun for the whole month. So I'll be reviewing that and telling you guys how I did for the first two weeks. I do get paid on Friday, so then I'll be withdrawing money on that day. And I'll let you know how much money I'll be withdrawing from my cash envelopes on that day. So if we head over to my bill overview, um, the first paycheck I planned on getting paid $1,000, but I did get paid a little bit more, $113 more. And so I my paycheck was 1113 with 86 cents and i ended up paying two credit cards uh, my phones ideal image and um, i also ended up paying my car loan okay and that's what i ended up paying with that first paycheck so i had some leftover money which ended up going towards the cash envelopes which were the 400 dollars and i've already explained um, how much i ended up putting for each category towards my cash, my cash envelopes. On my second paycheck, I do plan on getting paid about 1200, if not a little bit more, but I don't, I don't expect to get paid less than that. Um, but if I do, uh, I'll plan it out if I do, cause I come back in here and I do my budget again once I know the real number, but I also like planning ahead of time just to make sure that I have enough money for the rest of my bills. And then for the third paycheck, I've already explained this before in my other videos, but my third paycheck is basically everything that my husband earns and what he ends up paying towards the, the bills and the month. So he ends up paying rent, with it, which is 1260 um, he also ends up paying daycare and this varies. It's not always the same amount. Sometimes it's 200, this time it ended up being 188 and that gets withdrawn on the 15th. Um, and then he ends up paying the second car loan as well, which is $380. And sometimes he'll put in a little bit more. He also helps with savings, debt, and anything like that. So those, the, those paychecks, I just sum up in a third paycheck and that's how I track what he pays with that. So that's how I do it. So again, for my second paycheck, you guys, I plan on earning 1,200. So this is what I plan on paying, and I'm actually gonna do the math so that you can also uh, see what I'll pay. So I'm paying internet with the second paycheck, so I'll do 1,200 minus $55 from internet minus 1182 for Netflix, Minus 37.44 for electricity. Minus 13.48 for life insurance. And then 177.60 for car insurance. 
So that leaves me with, um, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. $900, $904.66 with, um, that's extra money that I'll, that I'll have. But I know that with that extra money, that some of that money is going to go to, towards my cash envelopes and my sinking funds and also my savings. So I know that for this second paycheck, I'm only withdrawing grocery money and miscellaneous money because I only gave myself $70 for the month for gas and $50 for fun money for the whole month, which I have nothing left of fun money and I still have $50 left for gas money for the month. So with these $900, I know that I have to withdraw 150 again for groceries. And then another $80 for miscellaneous because um, I do take $80 for every two weeks for miscellaneous, which makes it $160 a month. So then that will leave me with $674.66 left. So with that money, I'll be doing my sinking funds and my savings, which I'll explain in a different video. So that is what I'm going to be uh, doing with my second paycheck. I'm going to be paying my internet, Netflix, electricity, life and car insurance, and which will leave me with those $900. And out of those $900, I'll be left with $670 something dollars, as I think I did the math correctly. So, um, so far with my cash envelopes, you guys, I'll give you a closer look here. Let me see if I can give you a closer look okay so far with my cash envelopes and i do like highlighting the color of the paycheck so since this with this paycheck it was blue as you can see um over here i highlighted the first paycheck in blue so anything that i pay and put towards with that paycheck i'll highlight in that color so the first week in groceries i spent 128 dollars and one cent and then on the second week, I spent $62.57. Now, I did have some leftover money, of course, and that money is currently in my wallet. So I have like, I believe I have maybe like $8 left out of those $200 that I budgeted, okay? And some of them are coins, and so I just put that in my little coin jar. For the third week obviously i haven't spent anything because i haven't gotten to that week yet so those two weeks are still left and again like i said i'm gonna get another 150 dollars for the third week for my cash envelopes and then for the fourth week i'll do another 50 dollars, kind of like i did for these two past weeks for gas i did not spend anything on the second week so my my tank is still pretty full and I don't need to put, I didn't need to put any gas for the second week, so I still have $50 left from this cash envelope. For my miscellaneous, I ended up spending $37.34 on toothpaste, laundry detergent, dish soap on the first week, and then on the second week, I ended up spending $42.66 for miscellaneous, so that leaves me with nothing left for that cash envelope so i will be doing another eighty dollars for the last two weeks when i get paid on the 15th and then for fun money i ended up spending it all on the first two weeks so as you can see i spent 34.56 on the first week and then on the second week i spent 15 dollars that i had left and i ended up taking my daughters out to eat that's where that money went and I have nothing left, so I won't be giving myself anything for the third or fourth week. So that is just $50 for the month, and that is all I'm taking for myself for this month. I might actually do a little bit more for next month, and then maybe like $75 instead of 50 so that I can have some extra money for the last two weeks. And hopefully that'll work out for next month, but we will budget that later. For this month, I'm just leaving it as is because that's what I budgeted for the month and that's all I'm giving myself. Okay, so that's um, so far how my cash envelopes went for these two past, um, for these past two weeks. And so as I've said, I've already budgeted um, what I'm planning on doing with my second paycheck. I don't put the actual amount until I get paid. 
um, just to be sure that I'm getting paid somewhere around Typically there. what I do with the extra money is put it towards my sinking funds or savings or leave it in my uh, banking account just as an extra backup for any bills. So as you can see here with my cash envelopes, um, what I usually have set up um, in the budget is $780 for the month. So I usually budget $500 just for groceries for the whole month, but I am trying to keep it under $500. And then for gas, I usually budget $70. I used to do $120 for gas, but I noticed that I never spent it all. So that extra money was just going to waste on other things because I was borrowing from that cash envelope all the time. And I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna do 70 and keep it at that because I know that usually I spend less than that. So then that money will just go towards next month if I have any extra. For miscellaneous, I budget $160 a month. So that's $80 every two weeks. I break it down so that just for my own sake, I know that I'll, I'll have $80 for the next two weeks. And so I'll use it more wisely if I know that I only have that amount for the next two weeks. And then for fun, I've been doing $50 um, for the last two months. But again, I might change this to $75 for next month. We will see how that goes. But for now, I just kept it at $50. So I'm actually going to put $50 because I know that I'm not giving myself any more fun money. Um, and then I'll put the actuals after I know what the actual total was for these three other cash envelopes um, at the end of the month. So I'll come back at the end of the month and do another budget review for you guys. So I hope this kind of made sense. Uh, this is what I usually like doing with my budget reviews. I like going back and seeing how much I've done with my paycheck and what I've actually spent with bills and cash envelopes. This last paycheck, you guys, which was the first paycheck of February, nothing went towards my savings or sinking funds because I didn't have enough money left over uh, to be able to do that. So with this next paycheck, I know I'll have that money left over and that is what's, be, what's going to go towards my savings and sinking funds. And I'll actually explain in another video what sinking funds I actually have. And so again, this third paycheck is my husband's paychecks all summed up in one. And yeah, that's about it. This is just for myself to be able to see what I've done with my paychecks and if I'm reaching my goal to uh, be able to stay under $500 for food budget and gas budget under $70 and then of course be able to save $400 this month any way that I can. So those are my goals for this month. I usually have three different goals every month and they're usually about the same. I just change it a, a little bit every month. So if you guys like this video, please like down below, leave a comment, and thank you so much for all the, to all the new subscribers and all the ones who have come back and seen my videos again. I do appreciate it, and I wanna thank you a lot. I am going to be doing a giveaway pretty soon, um, so stick around for that because it's gonna be a super fun one. It does have to do with budgeting and cash envelopes, so please stick around for that giveaway when I post it up. See you guys next time.